coaching session helped me understand my 360 evaluation fully, really get the really get the core of it, what the meaning behind it, not just, you know, the words and not just um, the ratings, but really what it meant for me. So I read it through the three times and I, I still, you know, was maybe sort of hyper-focused on um, areas for improvement or, you know, the perceived sort of negative challenges. Um, but the coach, the coaching session was like really key for me to put it all together and to take it in all in within context. And she, um, you know, made us go through everything, all the strengths first, all the area, all the good things that people said. One of the things that came through, I'll just be transparent, was that um, sometimes my messaging lacks clarity. And so I was, that was, upsetting to me because I always want to be clear. I don't want anyone to feel like they don't understand something or don't know what I want or need or I'm asking. And what the coach really helped me see the full picture, what they were actually saying was that sometimes I, I try to be very kind and sometimes I try to be very nurturing. And because of that, when I'm speaking, I'm trying to soften the message. And in doing so, it, um, it muddies the water a bit and it isn't as clear. And so what the coach and I sort of came to this little mantra that I keep to this day, and this was over a year ago, which is that, um, you know, being clear is a kindness, being direct is a kindness. And so I have to, I keep that in mind now. When I'm speaking, when I'm giving a hard message in this past year with, with the pandemic, I've had to give lots of hard messages. And so it was really important for me to keep that message in mind. It was actually, so incredibly helpful to have had that prior to a lot of the things that have happened in the last year. Overall, I really look at I really look at the 360 process with quite a bit of fondness, and I am looking forward to the next one.